Hi, and welcome to this year's first episode of Tribal Fever Sports Minute. I'm Emma Mahoney. And I'm Sophia Kalapitas. In this episode, we'll bring you highlights from some of the tribe's games so far this semester that you might have missed and give you an idea of what's coming up next. Men's and women's swimming went up against ODU on January 25th and took home a senior day win with a final score of 174 to 88 for women and 144 to 120 for men. The women's team broke a school record in the 200 medal relay and junior Megan Howard broke the pool record and the tribe dual meet record in the 50 free. The women's team also saw wins in the 100 free and the 400 free relay as well as the 200 and 100 flies and the 400 IM. 100 and 200 backs. For the men, sophomore Will Mannion broke pool records with wins in the 100 and 200 back and helped the Tribe to set a dual meet record in the 200 medal relay. The Tribe picked up wins in breaststroke events, the 100 fly, and the 400 IM. Following a loss for both men and women at ECU on February 1st to round out the season, both teams traveled to Charlottesville in two weeks for the Cavalier Invitational. The women's basketball game against Towson on January 26 saw an explosive first half for the team, resulting in a 69-60 point win for the Tribe. A career-high 19 points for senior Caitlin Mathieu alongside big scores from freshman Marlena Tremba and juniors Jasmine Boone and Kyla Kersitter started the first half on a powerful note after giving up the first basket to Towson. Sophomore Brooke Stewart then kept the streak going, shooting three three-pointers in a row, allowing women Mary to defeat Towson in the second half. Women's basketball also saw a win against College of Charleston on Sunday after losing to Drexel on January 30th. Men's basketball has been on a roll this season, picking up wins against Drexel, JMU, and on January 27th, the College of Charleston. After trailing by nine points in the first half, the Tribe ultimately pulled out a 74-63 point win, with junior Marcus Thornton, senior Brandon Pitt, and sophomores Terry Tarpe and Sean Sheldon contributing the bulk of the team's points. Big scores for the day included Britt's three-pointer, followed by a steal on the defensive end that allowed Tarpe to score on a layup, as well as multiple three-pointers by Thornton and a two-hand dunk by freshman Omar Pruitt. The men's team rallied from a loss against Delaware on January 29th with a win against JMU on February 2nd. Women's basketball also went up against Drexel on January 30th, but suffered a loss with a final score 42-66. Men's and women's tennis has been keeping busy the past few weeks with the men's team traveling to Penn State on the 24th and 25th, taking losses against PSU and St. John's. The team also took a loss against Princeton and Williamsburg on January 30th, but came back with the win against South Carolina State on February 1st. Women's tennis traveled to Alabama on January 25th and 26th and suffered losses versus Alabama and Mississippi. They then took on Virginia Tech on February 1st, but weren't able to pull out a W. Be sure to check out women's tennis as they take on Texas Tech and women's basketball against JMU on February 4th. Then, tennis packs the schedule with the men's match on February 6th against Liberty and women's matches against Penn State and Wake Forest on February 8th and 9th. As always, tune into Tribal Fever Sports Minute for all the highlights you might have missed and leave us your reactions to the Tribe's latest scores with comments below.